I'd like to know more about you. Yeah. I'd like to know more about you, too. So it goes without saying that I'm hooked on you. And by now, I'm out of my mind with this self-abuse. I guess I should have looked down for myself. I guess that I could have found someone else. But I never met anyone whose loving made me so damn crazy. Every little thing that you do, every single word you say. Go Holy crap. A friend of yours? Do you care? I don't know what I feel worse about having to stay away from you or being a jerk. Yeah, she was one of my best friends. I'm sorry. For Allison or for being a jerk? Both. Thank you. I would never want to do anything to get you in trouble. Movies. You don't know me an explanation, are you? You're entitled to be with whoever you want to be with. See you in class? Yeah. Yeah. I love you.
with that. Nobody is asking you to. But it's true. You two even look like a couple. I mean, you can dance with her and hold her hand in front of other people. Leave your apartment at the same time without having to count to 50. Arya, why are we having this conversation? I... I am already in love with someone else. I raced by my building, eh? Didn't even realize you were coming to campus today. Ah, oh, I had to. If I don't finish this thing, it doesn't get fired till next Friday. Hmm. And here I was hoping you'd be at the potter's wheel so I could wrap my arms around you and hum Unchained Melody. <laughs> I've seen that movie. It ends sadly. Well, we could give it a happy ending. <clears throat> Can we do this later? at home. Sucky. Look, kids do stupid things. Probably one of Mike's friends put him up to it. He's broken into other houses, too. Jason called him breaking into his house a few weeks ago. Jason? As in Allie's brother who sat next to me at the dinner that never happened, Jason? Is that what you two were talking about the other night? This year's too. It's amazing. Jenna made that. Wow, she's talented. So, how are things shaping up between you guys? She dropped the class. Yeah, but before she left, did you guys find a way? No. She left before I had the chance. Ario, why didn't you tell me what was going on with your brother? didn't tell anybody. It's embarrassing. I, I get it. But you don't have to be embarrassed with me about anything. Maybe you can stop by my place later. Sure. I will call you. Bye. So... Should I be worried about you and this Jason guy? What? No. No. Look, this is Montgomery. Have you considered Hollis College? They have a wonderful arts program and I think
think you'll find the teachers are very hands-on. Oh, and... Right. All right. Are you, wait, what's up? Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. I'm worried about us. I just feel like outside forces are kind of taking over. Forces? People. Oh, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you to prove that Jackie's not a threat. You know what? You wouldn't know a threat if it sat in your lap and made you a gin and tonic. What does that even mean? It means that Jackie is interested in you. And she flirts with you every single day. I, I just thought... I work with the woman. <sighs> Look, I'm not blaming her. It's not her fault. We've left ourselves open to that because she doesn't know that you're in a relationship. The same way that no one knows that I'm in a relationship. Yeah, but it's not a problem as long as we know. I meant it when I said I didn't have feelings for it. Okay, well, I meant it when I said I didn't have feelings for Jason, but that didn't stop me from kissing him. Wait. That, that came out en entirely wrong. I didn't kiss him. He kissed me. I just... I didn't stop him. Hey, Izzy. Can you get those last box of brochures out of the car? I don't want to leave the booth. Yeah. Sure. College will be a great experience for you. It really helps you grow up. Really? You'll look back and realize just how naive you were. Two for Montgomery. Thanks. Um, are, are there two for Fitz? Oh, no, they're not mine. I, I just thought that my friend would be here by now. We're Arthur Miller fans. You know, uh, View from the Bridge is one of my favorites. What's it about? I've never seen it. Oh, I don't want to ruin it for you, but let's just say it's uh, got a lot of misplaced passion. <laughs> well, we should probably go find our seats. Hey, Ezra, when did you get here? I didn't know if you'd come. I didn't either. All right, this is dangerous for the both of us. I know. But I'm only worried about you. I want you to be safe, to be happy. And I wish you to be sure that, that this, that we, are what you want. 
And there's only one place where I can be sure of that. Where? Crazy, you know that, right? <laughs> I know. So how are we gonna do this? We can't spend the rest of our lives on sidewalks in the rain. I have an idea. But we've been trying to make this work for a long time. And And I, what? I, I, what? And and as much as we love each other, I think we are deluding ourselves into believing that it can. I'm going to call in a few minutes. So won't you please I can't teach high school in this town or college. What's left? It's what I do. And I need to find a place where I can do it. Look, wherever that is, they're really lucky to have you. idea how much I love you. With you. Try. I can't stay away from you. You've been away too long. <laughs> and her heart is so strong. This is our first dance. I want to see you. It's never felt so real. No, it's never felt so right. Just a kiss on your lips in the moonlight. Just a touch in the fire burning so bright. No, I don't want Shot in the dark that you just might be the 
Hey. I was just... I thought that we were meeting up at your apartment. Oh, no, we are. Uh, I was just putting a few things in the car. Can I just explain to you why I I don't need you to explain. I spoke with Maggie, and she told me that she asked you to keep quiet. And she knows it was an unfair position to put you in. So are we okay? Yeah. Are you okay? I don't even know how to begin to answer that question. Yeah, I understand. Good. Because I don't. There are like a million thoughts fighting in my head right now. And I'm about to meet my son. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, tonight. How long? Uh, I don't know. Where are you staying tonight? Motel. I got a college buddy in the area that I can stay with tomorrow night. It's good. You know. Can I call you? Ezra? Ezra? I'll talk soon, okay? Look, I, I think that we should talk about... Ezra. Hey. When did you get back? Uh, three this morning. I crashed as soon as I got in. I just woke up. I haven't been sleeping much the past few weeks. Yeah, me neither. I guess I'm just a little confused on why you never called me on one of those sleepless nights. Arya, my life turned upside down. I needed some time to think about things. Things like us? For one. I mean, not about my feelings for you, obviously. Obviously. What is that supposed to mean? Ezra, you've been radio silent ever since you left. It's given me nothing to do but fear the worst. That you'd moved on. No, Arya, no, if, if, if anything, I was trying to be fair to you and not drag you into the middle of this. I already am. And I feel terrible about that, because this isn't, this isn't what you signed up for. It's not your decision to make, it's mine. You're right. You're right, I'm sorry, I shut you out, and that was wrong. How was your trip? Surreal definitely comes to mind, but uh, Malcolm's amazing. He's smart, lively, really artistic. Maggie ever tell you why she kept it a secret? She did. My mother paid her to keep quiet. It's disgusting. Sorry. No, no, you're right. And believe me, I gave her an earful over the phone. Can I bring you up to speed over dinner? I never would have said this prior to meeting you, but I've actually been craving vegan takeout. <laughs> I want you in my life, Arya. Every part of it, if you're willing. I just missed you. I missed you too. What happened with Wes? When you came in, you were on the phone, said you needed to talk. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> no, nothing. We, um, he helped me with a shoot the other night, and we messed up some stuff at CC's store. 
It was nothing. Okay. Why didn't you tell me that they offered you the job? Because I don't think I'm going to take it. And I didn't think that you should share in the burden of that decision. We need a job, Ezra. Yeah, but you know what would happen to us if I end up back at Rosewood. Things are different now. People know about us. Hey, don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Okay? No, we're not. Nothing about us feels right anymore. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I, I want to fix this. I know. I know, but you can't. Okay, we've, we've been chasing after what we used to have ever since you found out about Malcolm, but... I just don't... I don't think that we can ever get that back. Things, things aren't easy, but they can still be good. It shouldn't be this hard. If you're, if you're not happy anymore, you know that's what matters most to me. I love you just as much as I always have. And that's why I want you to take this job. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> I love you. She said at Allie's funeral. You were right, there never was a happy ending for us. <laughs> you know, this doesn't have to be forever. You're graduating in seven months. And I wish that I could hold on to that. But it's too hard. I need to move on, and so do you. All right, good morning. My name is Mr. Fitz, and I'm back as your substitute teacher. Uh, if we open up to chapter one, we'll find out why Hemingway said, all things truly wicked start from innocence. Mm. 
Now, I'm sure you all remember the witches from Macbeth and the fairies and farce in A Midsummer Night's Dream, but beyond having a sorcerer as a protagonist, the Tempest considers the magical quality of love at first sight. The love between Miranda and Ferdinand is a force of nature, a love that reunites torn countries and sets captive spirits free. Make sure to read the first act for next week. Miss Montgomery, can I have a minute of your time? Thanks for coming over last night. I really needed you. I just didn't know how to ask. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm glad that I could be there for you. As a friend. Hey, are we still on for tonight? Oh, cool. Well, there's this poetry reading at the brew. They're calling him a contemporary poet. Oh, sure. No, 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 no. It's, it's, um, it's cool. We can do dinner and a movie or something. How's your eating? Intense. One of his poems reminded me of the story you wrote about the cat, found but lost. Can't believe that you remember that. I always thought it was about Allie. Well, it was. I just I didn't know that when I was writing it. That's probably why I was so honest. Hi, um, can I get a cappuccino? You could I actually get a refill, too. Now that's, it's always been what's tough for me. Writing a good story before I can think my way out of it. I get it. It's like you want to know the ending, but you still want to be surprised. Yeah, no, I remember when I was little, I'd always read the last page. Et bêtement, je l'ai cru. Je veux pas entendre cette histoire, je veux pas l'entendre, je veux descendre. Non, s'il te plaît, il faut. Que... Rien de ce que tu diras pourra changer quoi que ce soit. Je te reconnais plus, je sais plus qui tu es. Si tu me connais, si tu me connais. T'as essayé de te débarrasser d'Alison, t'as essayé de la tuer. Tu croyais qu'elle était enceinte de toi Je n'ai jamais fait de mal. Non, j'écrivais un roman sur elle. J'écrivais un roman policier. Un policier Oui. Quand... quand j'ai appris sa disparition dans la presse, c'est devenu une vraie obsession de, de découvrir le fin mot de l'histoire. Tu savais qui j'étais quand on s'est rencontrés Ouais, je savais. Je savais qui vous étiez toutes. Et c'est pour vous que j'ai postulé à Rosewood. C'est ça que je représentais à tes yeux, un sujet de recherche. Et que quand je t'ai vu dans ce bar... J'ai sauté sur l'occasion. J'ai profité de la situation parce que je voulais faire du bon journalisme. Je me suis mis dans la peau du type qui recule devant rien pour un sujet. Mais, mais je te promets une chose. Je ne savais pas que j'allais tomber amoureux de toi. 
Tais-toi. Alors oui, c'est vrai, j'ai souvent menti. Tais-toi, je veux rien entendre J'ai souvent menti, je l'avoue volontiers. Mais je ne t'ai jamais menti, jamais, je te le promets, sur l'amour que je ressens pour toi. Quand notre histoire est devenue sérieuse, j'ai arrêté d'écrire. Et quand on a rompu, j'ai eu envie de me replonger dans, dans mes recherches et j'ai découvert qu'Alison était en vie. J'ai pris ta défense, je me suis mis à dos toute ma famille et mes amis aussi. Et toi, pendant ce temps-là, tu... toi, tu te servais de moi. Je suis désolé, pardon, j'ai déconné. Je... je sais pas ce que j'avais dans la tête, je suis trop con, mais... mais je te le promets, je vais brûler le texte, je vais le balancer. Brûler le texte Brûler le texte Tu te fiches de moi Je vais lire, t'entends De la première à la dernière page. Je t'en prie, non. Non, j'ai très envie de savoir pourquoi tu étais prêt à détruire notre histoire. Écoute-moi. Non Come in. I didn't come here to hash things out. I came here to tell you that you need to leave. Yeah, I, I understand. You need your space. No, I, I, I don't think that you understand. I do. I spoke with Hackett yesterday, and I'm taking a leave of absence. No, Ezra. You need to leave town. For good. But Arya, we can work through this. I don't this. want to work through this. I don't want to run into you at the grocery or every time I grab coffee with my friends. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear from you. Ever. It's a copy of my manuscript. Thanks, but I think I'll wait till it's in the clearance bin. I really think you should read it. I found some stuff out that could really help you. And for what it's worth, I was in New York returning my publisher's advance. I thought if I pulled a plug, then... It's too late, Ezra. Well, I guess this is goodbye then. Ezra? It's so beautiful. Shauna, she was the one that was holding the gun, remember? Um, and Allie, she always thought that Jenna was manipulating Shauna, but I think that Jenna actually loved her. Look, Arya, you have to stop beating yourself up for this. I don't know how I'm gonna get past it. Do you see this? This is what she did to me. I'm lucky to be alive, and so are you. Just like she told you, remember? Shauna wasn't playing a game. I'm so sorry. I don't ever want to hear you say you're sorry again.
Another comes falling down, shaking the floor. Just yesterday, you were part of it. So I'd say that we did that together. Oh yeah, they're gonna market the hell out of this book. This is gonna be huge. Oh my god, we did it. That's what we really did it. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one more time. Will you marry me? Wait, is that a yes? Yes, yes, Ezra. Completely, absolutely yes. Yes. <laughs> to do one thing first because I'm not sure you'll still be here when I'm done. Okay. What's... My mom, she's about ready to kill the party planner. Let's hope we can make it out of the rehearsal dinner alive. Hey. That's okay. That's okay. Alright. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? I got a confirmation yesterday. Confirmation? I was late. I thought I was pregnant. Aria. I can't have kids.
was supposed to be one of the happiest days of our lives. It will be. You still plan on marrying me tomorrow, right? Then nothing's changed. I love you. And we are going to have a family. We will adopt or we're going to have a surrogate. We'll do whatever we have to.